Math 5 Quarter 1 Week 8 Lesson 2 Milk Base Let's learn about Dividing simple fraction, whole number by fraction, and vice versa. Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about dividing simple fraction, whole number by fraction, and vice versa. After going through with this lesson, you are expected to Divide a simple fraction, whole number by a fraction, and vice versa. Division of fraction is a simple operation. You will be surprised to know that division of one fraction by other fraction is actually a process of multiplication of fractions. And now, we will discuss our lesson by doing the following activities. Learning Task 1 Give the lowest term then write the reciprocal of the following fractions. Number 1 2 fourth. Reduce 2 fourth to lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 2 and 4. The GCF of 2 and 4 is 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then 4 divided by 2 equals 2. The answer is 1 half. Now, get the reciprocal of 1 half. The reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. Number 2. 6 ninths. Reduce this to lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 6 and 9. The GCF of 6 and 9 is 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. And 9 divided by 3 equals 3. The answer is 2 third. Now, get the reciprocal of 2 third. The reciprocal is 3 over 2. Number 3, 10 twelfths. Reduce this to lowest term. First, find the GCF of 10 and 12. The GCF of 10 and 12 is 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5, then 12 divided by 2 equals 6. The answer is 5 over 6. Now, get the reciprocal of 5, 6. The reciprocal is 6 over 5. Number 4, 8 twelfths. Reduce this to lowest term. First, find the GCF of 8 and 12. The GCF of 8 and 12 is 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Then 12 divided by 4 equals 3. The answer is 2 thirds. Now, get the reciprocal of 2 thirds. The reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2. Number 5. 12 over 32. Get the lowest term of this fraction. First, find the GCF. The GCF of 12 and 32 is 4. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And 32 divided by 4 equals 8. So the answer is 3 eighths. Now, get the reciprocal of 3 eighths. The reciprocal is 8 over 3. Number 6, 27 over 45. Reduce this to lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 27 and 45. The GCF of 27 and 45 is 9. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And 45 divided by 9 is 5. The answer is 3 fifths. Now, get the reciprocal of 3 fifths. The reciprocal of 3 fifths is 5 over 3 or 5 thirds. Number 7, 35 over 63. Reduce this to lowest term. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 35 and 63. 
the GCF of 35 and 63 is 7. 35 divided by 7 equals 5. And 63 divided by 7 equals 9. The answer is 5 nines. Now, get the reciprocal of 5 nines. The reciprocal of 5 nines is 9 over 5. And number 8, 64 over 96. Reduce this to lowest term. First, find the GCF of 64 and 96. The GCF is 32. 64 divided by 32 equals 2. And 96 divided by 32 equals 3. The answer is 2 thirds. This is the lowest term. Now, get the reciprocal of 2 thirds. The reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2. When dividing a whole number by a fraction, you are finding how many groups of the fraction you can fit in the whole. The standard way of dividing a whole number by a fraction is to multiply the whole number by the reciprocal of the fraction. You can also draw a diagram to help you visualize the process. You need to remember do multiplication or division first before you do addition or subtraction. For example, suppose you are given 10 and 1 half and 3 fourths. You are asked to find the quotient of the two fractions. So the given are 10 and 1 half and 3 fourths. Divide them. First, change this mixed number to improper fraction. 2 times 10 equals 20 plus 1 equals 21, then copy the denominator 2. So 21 over 2. Then get the reciprocal of 3 fourths. The reciprocal is 4 over 3 or 4 thirds. Multiply both. So use the cancellation method. Cancel 21 and 3. Then divide them by 3. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. And 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And then also cancel both 4 and 2. Then divide them by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Now multiply. 7 times 2 equals 14. And 1 times 1 equals 1. 14 over 1. Or we can write 14 over 1 as 14. And now, let's go to learning task 2. Find the quotient. Reduce your answer to lowest term. Number 1, 5 divided by 1 half. So first, write the whole number 5 and multiply it to the reciprocal of 1 half, 2 over 1. And then multiply. 5 times 2 equals 10. Then 1 times 1 equals 1. The answer is 10 over 1. Or, 10. Number 2, 9 divided by 1 third. First, write the whole number, 9. Then multiply it to the reciprocal of 1 third. The reciprocal of 1 third is 3 over 1. 9 times 3 equals 27. Then, 1 times 1 equals 1. 27 over 1 or 27. Number 3, 8 divided by 4 fifth. First, write the whole number 8, then multiply it to the reciprocal of 4 fifth. The reciprocal of 4 fifth is 5 over 4, or 5 fourths. Then multiply. 8 times 5 equals 40, then 1 times 4 equals 4. Next, divide 40 over 4. 40 divided by 4 equals 10. Number 4, 12 divided by 2 6. First, write the whole number 12, then multiply it to the reciprocal of 2 6, 6 over 2, and then multiply. 12 times 6 equals 72, then 1 times 2 equals 2. Then, divide 72 divided by 2 equals 36. Number 5, 16 divided by 4 fifths. First, Write the whole number 16, then multiply to the reciprocal of 4 fifths, 5 over 4, then multiply. 16 times 5 equals 80, then 1 times 4 equals 4, and then 
divide 80 over 4. 80 divided by 4 equals 20. To divide a whole number by a fraction, multiply the dividend by reciprocal of the divisor. In order to find the reciprocal of a fraction, reverse the position of the numerator and the denominator. If the fraction is a mixed number, change the mixed number to an improper fraction first, then get the reciprocal of the given improper fraction. If the numbers to be divided are mixed numbers, change them first to improper fractions before dividing. For learning task 3, perform the indicated operation. Compare the quotient of each expression. Number 1. The first expression is 3 fifth divided by 1 third. To express, multiply 3 fifth and the reciprocal of 1 third is 3 over 1. 3 fifth times 3 1 equals 9 over 5. 9 over 5 is improper fraction. Change this to mixed number. The mixed number of 9 over 5 is 1 and 4 fifths. So the quotient is... 1 and 4 fifths. Second expression, 1 and 1 fifth divided by 3 8. First, change the mixed number to improper fraction. 1 and 1 fifth is 6 fifth. Then multiply to the reciprocal of 3 8. The reciprocal of 3 8 is 8 thirds. Then do the cancellation method. Cancel 6 and 3 and divide them by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2, then 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Then multiply. 2 times 8 equals 16, and 5 times 1 equals 5. 16 over 5 is an improper fraction. Change this to mixed number by dividing. 16 divided by 5 is 3 and 1 fifth. So the quotient is 3 and 1 fifth. Compare 1 and 4 fifth and 3 and 1 fifth. So, 1 and 4 fifth is less than 3 and 1 fifth. Number 2. The first expression is 8 and 5 sevenths divided by 1 half. First, change the mixed number to improper fraction. 7 times 8 plus 5 equals 61 over 7. Then multiply to the reciprocal of 1 half. The reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. 61 times 2 equals 122. 7 times 1 equals 7. The answer is improper fraction. Change this to mixed number by dividing. 122 divided by 7 equals 17 and 3 7. The quotient is 17 and 3 7. Second expression, 11 divided by 1 third. So the reciprocal of 1 third is 3 over 1. Multiply, 11 times 3 over 1 equals 33 over 1. 33 divided by 1 equals 33. The quotient is 33. Then compare 17 and 3 7 and 33. 17 and 3 7 is less than 33. Number 3. The first expression is 5 and 4 ninths divided by 7 8. Change mixed number to improper fraction. 9 times 5 plus 4 equals 49 over 9. Then multiply to the reciprocal of 7, 8, which is 8 over 7. 49 times 8 equals 392 and 9 times 7 equals 63. 392 over 63. This is improper fraction. Change this to mixed number. 392 divided by 63 equals 6 and 14 over 63. The quotient is 6 and 14 over 63. Second expression, 6 divided by 3 fifth. The reciprocal of 3 fifth is 5 over 3. 6 times 5 over 3. Use the cancellation method. Cancel 6 and 3 and divide them to 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2, and 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 2 times 5 equals 10 over 1. So the answer is 10. The quotient is 10. Compare, 
6 and 14, 63 is less than 10. Number 4. The first expression is 18 and 1 third divided by 3. Change mixed number to improper fraction. 3 times 18 plus 1 equals 55 over 3. Times the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. 55 times 1 equals 55. 3 times 3 equals 9. 55 over 9. Then, change this to mixed number. 55 divided by 9 equals 6 and 1 ninth. So, this is the quotient. The second expression is 3 fourth divided by 7 and 8 over 13. First, change the mixed number to improper fraction. 13 times 7 plus 8 equals 99 over 13. Then, copy 3 fourth, multiply to the reciprocal of 99 over 13 is 13 over 99. Then, use the cancellation method. Divide 3 and 99 to 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 99 divided by 3 equals 33. Then, multiply. 1 times 13 equals 13. Then, 4 times 33 equals 132. So, the quotient is 13 over 132. Then, compare. 6 and 1 ninth is greater than 13 and 132. And number 5, 10 divided by 2 and 4 fifth. So, first, change the mixed number into improper fraction. 5 times 2 plus 4 equals 14 over 5. The reciprocal of 14 over 5 is 5 over 14. Multiply to 10. Use the cancellation method. Divide 10 and 14 to 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And 14 divided by 2 equals 7. Then multiply. 5 times 5 equals 25. 1 times 7 equals 7. 25 over 7. Change this to mixed number. 25 divided by 7 equals 3 and 4 7. The quotient is 3 and 4 7. Second expression, 4 and 3 8 divided by 5 over 32. Change the mixed number to improper fraction. 8 times 4 plus 3 equals 35 over 8. Then the reciprocal of 5 over 32 is 32 over 5. Multiply, then use the cancellation method. Divide 35 and 5 to 5. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Then cancel also 32 and 8. Divide them to 8. 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Then 8 divided by 8 equals 1. Then multiply. 7 times 4 equals 28. Then 1 times 1 equals 1. So 28 divided by 1 is 28. The quotient is 28. Compare, 3 and 4, 7 is less than 28. Remember, to divide a whole number by a fraction, multiply the dividend by reciprocal of the divisor. In order to find the reciprocal of a fraction, reverse the position of the numerator and the denominator. If the fraction is a mixed number, Change the mixed number to an improper fraction first, then get the reciprocal of the given improper fraction. If the numbers to be divided are mixed numbers, change them first to improper fractions before dividing. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!